Welcome back, adventurers. Welcome back. Thank you for joining in. I am Keyfob, your host for this adventure. As we're headed off somewhere in Valdosta, uh, I'll be 100% honest, guys. I don't know the name of the restaurant we're supposed to be going to. Chamanza's, uh, Chamanga, Champanga. That sounds like something you would drink. Champanga. Uh, but yeah, we're headed to some kind of Mexican restaurant like that. Get at it, boy. Get at it. <laughs> uh, that's my boy. Uh, but, but, I'm not too worried about the exact name of the location. Because Mala Mexicana, a.k.a. Brandy Chameleon, is in the car way ahead of us now. We can see the car. And we're catching up to it. We're not going super fast, so we're it's gonna take us just a few minutes to catch up to them. But we're gonna catch up to them. And then we'll just follow them to the place. Boy knows how to ride close and tight, so I ain't worried about us getting left behind. Woo. Like an old street lot. I have to take a better look at that on the way back out. Yeah, that's not a suspect at all. Three silver vehicles? Come on, guys. Talk about it. No, it we're not a coal. You guys are a coal. We could tell. Yeah, three silver vehicles? Yeah. We're not the coal. You're the coal. I uh, see you, buddy. Please see us. Okay, we're clear. that guy pouring stuff into his damn gas thing? The hell? I'm going to try to re review that over the uh, camera footage. See if y'all can see what the hell I'm talking about. That was a lot going on back there. We had the van in front of us turning. We had a van to lots of us wanting to turn out. And then we had the guy at the gas station like he was pouring something into the fuel. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we've caught up to them. <laughs> oh, Lord. And I am really looking forward to getting me a nice cold beer. I have one at the house, so just a little Dos Equis. But hopefully that's what I'll be having over here as well. Thank you, kid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need him to be behind them. It's a safer location for him. I know I'm going to stop without hitting them. And if he goes, I can follow. Versus I don't want to make him try to follow something I would do. Easy guy, easy. What you got going on, dude? Riding classy. And they're, they're not my style. Uh, I'm going to be honest, those touring bikes set up like that, they're not my style, but I can sure enough respect it. I see I see the reasons for it. I understand. Yeah, I got you. Just not for me. But Jay gets a lot of compliments. So catastrophic gets a lot of compliments on that fat bob. I used to get them too because you just don't see a lot of fat bobs out and that one that one gets around. That one has gotten around. It has gotten around more than a two dollar hooker when it comes to uh, motorcycles. We're getting closer and closer to that 50,000 mile mark on that bike which I know for you Honda Goldwing fanatics 50,000 miles ain't nothing but a drop in a first tank of gas and a gold wing. But for us Harley guys, 50,000 is a little bit more, okay? <laughs> Go easy on us. We're American made. 
Oh, speaking of American made and going easy on us, uh, my father in law happened to point out that two of the bolts that hold my exhaust on are rusted as hell. And you know what? I ain't never really paid him attention. Until he said something, then I got to look at them fuckers. And they are rusty as hell. They look, they don't look like they come off a 2023 bike. They look like they may come off a 03 bike. Maybe a 13, but not a 23. So yeah, I'm gonna have Harley look at that and address that issue. I mean, come to think of it, I don't even think I ever had the uh, recall bolt replaced on here yet. I have to check with them. See if my factory bolt has been replaced. They can do that when it gets serviced. It's right there at its next service mark. Hey, Mr. Popo. We're just law-abiding citizens around here. Nothing to worry about going on around these parts. We're all just getting along, buddy. Yeah, we are. Right, there's no problems going on. And I got no problem with him doing his job. We're staying safe enough, ish, in a way, kinda. Uh, what were we saying? <laughs> All right, but hey, so I want y'all to do in this con or in the comments below, or just in your head watching this video. You don't even have to put a comment about it. Take a bet on what Mala Mexicana, aka the Brainy Chameleon orders at the mexican restaurant for her main meal right so i'm gonna give you all three options fajitas nachos street tacos oh street tacos sound really good oh. mm. yeah I'm, I'm thinking about street tacos guys this sounds really good uh, but what is she going to order? I, uh, I think I already know what she's going to order. Uh, it's going to be beer. Because <laughs> I'm going to order one too, dang it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's... I think I know what she's going to order. I think... I'm going to go ahead and call it now before we get there. She's going to order... Chicken... No, no, no. Steak nachos. That's what I'm thinking. Uh... I'm leaning towards definitely steak nachos for her tonight. And I'll probably get a big burrito, because that's usually what I get anyway, is the big burritos. But I'm also feeling shrimp, so uh, I might be a little shrimpy tonight. We'll see. Uh, but I, I'm running out of stuff to talk about on this ride because I'm really trying to focus on this super sketch Honda Accord uh, to the left of me or what I think is an Accord uh, it does not look like a Civic to me but it may be a Civic I don't really know the difference between the two I just know it's a Honda and it looks definitely like it's seen some rough afternoons <laughs> Jesus no judgment guy drive what you gotta drive but you know you get pulled over don't wonder why it's pretty obvious but anyway i'm gonna shut up and pay more attention to what's going on around me and enjoy my ride into town and i'll catch you adventurers inside a restaurant i don't know which one it's gonna be because remember i don't know the name all right guys holy shitter biscuit Okay, adventurers, uh, welcome back. Uh, did I really turn the camera off just to turn it right back on? Because things went from calm and relaxing to another truck seemed to be in a bigger hurry than we were to get one spot ahead. That was a sloppy lineup. I could have done way better. But I wanted the red car behind me to definitely see we were stopping like I said I'm the buffer between anyone else and catastrophic in front of me and the way traffic's acting I'm gonna give him that full space up ahead oh never fails but as soon as I get on camera my nose starts itching 
is because the camera's on and it's sending tiny electromagnetic signals into my head making my nose itch or is it because I'm talking more and it makes my nose hairs bristle a little bit and that makes my nose itch could that be what is going on only a scientist would know I am no scientist so I'm just going to keep complaining about it can't do nothing about it other than rip out my nose hairs maybe to, oh I know I can take tinfoil and wrap it around my head when I record that way I'm protected from not only a CIA satellites but the electromagnetic signals coming off the camera won't make my nose itch holy cow I have solved the problems with just aluminum foil <laughs> a little bit of conspiracy there huh uh, yeah but hey, that probably would help with some stuff. I mean, wrapping my head in tinfoil would keep the satellites from seeing what's going on in my head. Y'all know how Facebook is on your phones. As soon as you even think about something, it's going to send you an advertisement about it. And for some reason, I keep getting an advertisement for male erectile dysfunction medication. I didn't think I was having a problem in that area, but oh, maybe Mala says something. I don't know. <laughs> I also get advertisements for underwear. Uh, I'm not sure where I'd get those. But anyway. Boop. <laughs> oh, hi, kiddo. Oh, somebody's in the scooter club. Check it out. You know, it takes the real man to be in a scooter club or a man with DUIs. That's usually the two. Alright, go for it, kid. Make your space. Thank you, sir. That was so kind of him to let me slide in and ride beside him like that. That sure was nifty, sir. Hey, oh, holy cow, be careful crossing the road, kids. There's adults about. I wonder if he's compensating for anything. <laughs> I guess they could probably say the same thing about me. Why is he riding that big Harley? Bet he's got a... <laughs> Bet he's got social issues. I bet you that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't all of us say something about the other guy and their hobby, right? I mean, for us bikers, the guys with his squatted trucks. I'm gonna be honest, not my style. And apparently, it's illegal in some places. And again, not my style. I don't care. I don't have a horse in that race. Do what you want. Is your money? <laughs> As J.G. Wentworth said, it's your money, get it when you need it, and spend it on what you want. Shit, I mean, you see what I spend my money on. I'm pretty sure no one would say, you need to go out and buy a Harley as your daily rider and not have a car of your own. That wouldn't make any sense. Well, okay. I agree. It doesn't make any sense for you to not do that. Also, just like the car you see here doesn't make any sense it's not practical for a car to be shaped like that and have wheels that size it's not economic but it doesn't matter it's what he wanted to do it's his money it's his car shut up and let him enjoy it shit just like let us enjoy our bikes we let you enjoy your your jacked up trucks or your your super fancy cars or your uh, whatever the hell is that you enjoy let folks enjoy what they enjoy y'all stop hating on everybody I understand there's a little bit of camaraderie in some of this hate like especially with bikers and scooters what's up my scooter guy <laughs> I, I mean make fun of him he's probably got a load of DUIs or I don't know I, just want, I, I assume when I see a guy riding on a scooter, he's probably got DUIs. I think that's a stereotype. 
am I, am I racist against scooters? No, I like scooters, and I like scooter guys or gals. I'm not really particular. You can be on a scooter, and you'll be cool with me. Oh, uh, so no, I don't know. Uh, scooters are cool. All right, holy butt fuckle. I haven't seen a what the what the. Oh, it was one of those squatteds. Yeah, I was just talking about those things. Huh. <laughs> All right, yeah, like I said, not my style, man, but I get it. It's what you want to do. You think it's cool? Do it. Do it. Do the roar. Do the roar. That bike sounds so good. Plug a 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 Definitely paid the Harley tax on that mother. It was so nice we paid it twice. <laughs> oh, I was actually thinking about that. We overpaid for that bike, of course. You buy it from a dealership, you're gonna pay more than it's worth. That's how dealerships work. Uh, and then we made them pay more for it than it was worth when we traded it in on the ST. But then when we went and traded the the Shadow Lost Brazos, I was close. There was a B in it. <laughs> when we traded in the, the Shadow in on the Fat Bob, I didn't argue about the price. Because that bike needed to be back home. And now it's back home. Now I'm happy. And it's, it's with my son. Hola, Miss Becky. All right, y'all. We're there.